So we just had the All-Star game not too long ago, and it was at Indianapolis, Indiana. Oscar Robertson was honored at the game for his, I guess, um, high school career and um, what else he has done for the Indianapolis area and for the schools there. Um, I really didn't have any idea what all he had done until I got, I just picked up this book. I actually ordered it before the all-star game and didn't even think that would be relevant. And the reason why I, I bought this book, Oscar Robinson, the big O my life, my times, my game was for the picture. I've never seen anybody grab a rebound and do the splits at the same time in the middle of the air. Um, it's a really impressive picture. And I was trying to get it on a card if possible, but I could not find any cards that had that image on it. So I figured out, oh, I'll just get the book. And so I did. And, um, but it comes in handy because I get to read about a player that I have been collecting for basically 30 years. Um, when I was a kid, I started collecting Oscar Robertson cards. And um, now I get to read about his kind of his story. I've got through about three chapters. And I'll do a, a book review on the whole thing when I finish. But the relevant part for right now is um, his days in Indianapolis. Uh, before that, he was born. He was born in Tennessee, in rural Tennessee, and um, his father moved to um, Indianapolis to get a job there. And then the whole the whole family uh, followed him there. And so Indianapolis, Indiana, was where Oscar Robertson and his his family. Um, resided there. His older brother, I didn't even know this, was a good basketball player too and was on the Glo um, Harlem Globetrotters. And actually, he was very good in high school um, and college, his older brother, and kind of led the way as far as Oscar um, being recognized a little bit, although um, it was a thing where growing up in Indianapolis, he couldn't do much of anything. He writes about it in his book, um, because of his situation and his, and basically finances and because of the racial, racial situation in, in, at the time in Indianapolis, he really couldn't do much of anything. Couldn't go anywhere really hardly except for. Tennessee back home when he when he went back home but other than that he just played basketball uh, a lot so they had pickup games and they played a lot of basketball kind of forced them into being able to do not much of anything but play basketball and this was in Indiana and at the same time kind of as the Hoosiers, they made a movie in the 80s about a high school basketball team. And um, the movie's called The Hoosiers. And Oscar's brother is is actually in that movie. Um, Oscar's not a big fan of the movie, but his brother's actually in it um, for, for reasons he gets into in the book. Um, but yeah, that's the time that he was... That he was going to high school at that same time where, where basketball was very big in Indiana. There was racial issues going on, segregation and, and stuff like that, in, in, especially in Indianapolis. And um, that's what the first part of his book so far that I've read has gotten into. And he wasn't honored the way he, he, they won two champ, high school championships with Oscar Robertson. And pretty much undefeated the last year. They lost one game his his junior year. 
and um, he didn't feel like they gave him um, the same kind of recognition uh, that, for example, the team that is in the movie the Hoosiers got um, the year before didn't get the same recognition, the, the, the parades and all the rest, even though it was huge in the media and everything else, um, high school basketball championships and everything. It was huge. He just didn't feel like he got the recognition the same way that he should have. So anyway, it was nice to see that Indianapolis gave him recognition during the All-Star game. And that was nice. If you read, you should read the book and kind of understand the more details of that whole story. It gets a little bit um, more details than you want to know as far as high school, each game and all that. It's like, I can't even remember it. You know, any of that kind of thing. I don't know how he does, but it was a huge deal. That's the whole point. High school basketball was a huge deal in Indiana. And so that's where he comes from. And, and I'm glad to see him recognized at the All-Star game. He definitely deserved it. And what he did um, opened up doors for other people and a lot of other people and changed things. And he gets into uh, that in this book. And so... Uh, I'm going to just show you some of my cards that I have here. And um, first is his rookie card, 61-62. I don't have, he's got um, 61-62 Fleer has two cards in that set, the, the base rookie. And then there's like uh, in action, an, an in action um, card as well, which is not considered his rookie card. Um, I just have the, um, uh, the rookie card. It's a reprint. Um, it's the one reprint that I have in this base run. I have, I've got his base run and, um, the rookie card is the reprint. I would like to get the original card, but I'd, I'm going to have to trade a bunch of stuff to get that. At some point I would like to do that is trade a bunch of stuff that I do have, um, for cards such as that card. Um, I've had this card for 30 years, the 69, 70 tops. And I like the tall boys always have Oscar seems to improve with age. And this was before he, um, went to the bucks at the time he was averaging 29.7 points, you know, a lot of rebounds and a lot of assists. He, he ended up being the the uh, all-time assist leader at the time. Um, and then rebounds, he was, it's got to be the, have the most rebounds for a point guard ever. Here's the 70-71 tops. The 70-71 70, uh, tops all-star, which I like. Um, better than the base card. It's got a nice picture on the back, which you don't see in those days. The tall boys again. And I believe this is a 71-72 card. Seventy-two, seventy-three. The 73, 74, and the 74, 75. A couple of uh, other cards I have are the Bucks um, team leader card with Kareem on it and Oscar. And then also here is a, a modern card, the Tops Stars card that has Oscar and then Kareem in the background. So... That's my Oscar Robinson card collection. And I just wanted to talk about the book. I thought it was um, very relevant that I got this book. Kind of the timing pretty good with the All-Star Game. Helped me understand why he's being honored in Indiana, which didn't make a lot of sense to me as a Bucks fan, knowing that he 
spent most of his career in Cincinnati and then went to college in Cincinnati. I wasn't understanding the Indiana connection until I got this book, read his um, biography there at the front of the book. Can't wait to read the rest of the book and find out more. Um, I will say a couple more things. Interesting with regard to the All-Star game that the um, All-Star MVP was Damian Lillard, also a very similar type player coming to the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, Oscar played 10 years in Cincinnati, and those 10 years were very dominant. Almost averaged 30 points a game. A lot of assists and a lot of rebounds. And his numbers dropped off when he came to Milwaukee because he didn't have to be the main um, player. He had Kareem, who was just a monster at that time. And um, there was other players, role players uh, around and the team that he didn't need to score 30 points. He didn't need to have, you know, like, 15 rebounds. So there were other players. His numbers went down pretty dramatically once he joined the Bucks. But um, he was a great um, point guard, floor general, in always in control, and and that really helped him when they went to the finals two times. They won the championship one time, and similarly, the hope is for Milwaukee that. Damian Lillard will do the same sort of thing. He had an 11-year career in in um, Portland, Trailblazers, similar to Oscar's 10-year career in in Cincinnati, where both players were very dominant, uh, Hall of Famers for sure, and then they late, late in their career came to Milwaukee. Different kind of players, although they average. Right now, if you look at it, they both, well, Oscar's career average is 25 points a game. Damian Lillard at this point right now is is a little bit less than Oscar, 25 points a game, but just slightly less. Different players. Oscar was a bigger player, but wasn't like super great on defense like a Drew Holiday, but he was solid. You know, wasn't super great. You'd think he, he might be because he's six five and everything, but that wasn't his main thing. But um both great scorers. And even though Oscar wasn't, he'll even admit he wasn't, you know, the best shooter in the world. Damian Lillard probably a much better shooter. But overall game, Oscar Robertson um had it all. And so we're hoping as Milwaukee fans that Damian Lillard does a similar um, thing with Milwaukee Bucks wins a championship just like Oscar did. So thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments um, anything about Oscar Robertson. And I asked my daughter about uh, that pose. I said, what do you think about this pose? And she was like, yeah, I see cheerleaders do similar things like that. And I was like, well, that's a good point. But I never seen a basketball player do that with a rebound, getting a rebound like that. So, um, I just love that that image of how athletic he was, even though he had never, I don't think he ever dunked in a in a in an NBA game, even though he obviously could. And this picture just shows his athleticism. So thanks for watching.